we have 320 microfarad and 2.5 volt. Hi everyone! So in this video I'm gonna show you how to test and check electrolytic capacitors. So as you can see here we have many types of capacitors. This is tantalum capacitors and over here we have ceramic capacitors. I'm gonna show you how to test electrolytic capacitors. As you know the electrolytic capacitors are polarized capacitors. Okay? As you can see we have plus and minus. So this means minus. Okay? So here we have the capacitor characteristics as you can see. We have 320 microfarad and 2.5 volt. So for every electrolytic capacitor it has a specific characteristics. Of course we're gonna use the multimeter and, and we're gonna select the continuity option as you can see. Okay. So the capacitor is failed when you get a continuity or a buzzer. Okay. You should never get a continuity while testing an electrolytic capacitor. So let's check. Here we have a low resistance. This is this is not a short. This is normal. You know why? Because this capacitor is near to the chipset. So this capacitor is near to the chipset. This is the salt bridge or ICH. So the low resistance is the resistance of the chipset. So always pay attention. All the capacitors near to chipset and processor, when you get a low resistance, this is normal. Okay? But if you check another capacitor in any power supply, you can find a high resistance. So let's check this capacitor for example. So normally this, we should get a high resistance, as you can see here. Okay? So this is a good capacitor. Okay? So here, as you can see, we have the CPU power supply where we have inductors and electrolytic capacitors. So this capacitor also if we test it, we're gonna obtain a low resistance. As you can see, we have a low resistance in the multimeter. This is not a short. This is the resistance of the CPU. So if we remove the CPU, the resistance will be changed. So let's remove the CPU right now and check again the capacitors. Now we remove the CPU. So let's check the capacitor. Normally we should not get a low resistance. As you can see in the multimeter we get one. Two capacitor is good. Okay. Let's check this also. This is a good capacitor. But when we put back the CPU, as you can see we get a low resistance. Okay. So this is normal. Here we have other kind of capacitors of course. As you can see here we have the power drag connector, so this capacitor basically should give a high resistance or give just one in the multimeter as you can see. So this is a good capacitor. Okay. Let's check the other one. Also good capacitor. 